So when you think about the interest of a 12-year-old boy, usually what comes to mind, sports, video games, maybe hunting and fishing. Yes, not necessarily a dress boutique. <laughs> However, tonight, 10 News reporter Magdala Lusant introduces us to a young man who has created a very special boutique to help take the stress out of weddings and proms. Prom dresses if you need. Meet 12 year old middle school student Kenneth Lloyd, founder of Dodd Boutique in Amherst. I've had a bunch of people come ask me at school, had their moms donate. Kenneth launched his boutique last November. Over 110 dresses right now. He was skeptical at first. How would people react to a boy collecting prom and wedding dresses for women? I used to feel like I shouldn't do this, but now I feel like I should. His inspiration comes from his sister, who couldn't afford the prom dress she wanted. Kenneth thought there must be others in the same situation. I thought that if peop some people didn't have enough money to get dresses, pretty dresses and stuff, they could come here. With help from his mother, Kathleen Doss Lloyd. To be honest, I never thought it would go this far. Kenneth has helped change the lives of many women. He doesn't sell dresses. He gives them away for free. Her mom took pictures and they sent us pictures on the phone. She was very happy, mm -hmm. very happy. So the stone started rolling. Kenneth keeps his clientele list a secret for fear of embarrassment. Before each client leaves, he makes them sign an agreement that they won't sell the dress for profit. He urges them instead to donate it or bring it back to him. One of Kenneth's biggest donations was this $5,000 dress. You know, that's something you might want to hang in the closet for a while for memories, but she brought it back and she said she had such a wonderful time and she felt so pretty that she wanted another lady to feel pretty. In the short six months Kenneth has been in business, he's received free wedding catalogs, shoes, veils, and accessories to make it a one-stop shop. It made me feel happy that people were um, donating dresses and stuff. Now he's looking to expand his collection and help out the men. Three of the men's suits I have, I don't have many. I'm just very proud of him, very proud of him, amazed. In Amherst County, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you. Can this boutique doesn't have a website. We posted information on how to get in touch with him inside this story on our website. Just log on to WSLS.com.